So, how to spray an RC car body? Well, this particular one is a Volkswagen Beetle uh, from the famous company Proline there. Uh, I'm using Tamiya spray paints on this, white and blue. Um, this is a Volkswagen Beetle body that is designed for going on my Axial Yeti, which has taken, the stock body has taken, and Yeti has taken orphanal beating. Uh, and love the look of this spray in blue and whites on the internet. So, that is exactly what I'm opting for on this now, car. Whilst it comes to these great stickers, you may or may not want to put those on the finished product. It does come with this empty sheet of paper. Empty sheet? No, it didn't. It came with these stickers that I've already put on the window. So I was halfway through doing this and I thought, why not film the thing and show people the way I do it? Not necessarily the best way. I'm sure other people will say, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that. By all means, contribute positively towards this video. Uh, if you're going to say you shouldn't do it that way, explain why I shouldn't do it that way, rather than just saying that's a bad way to do it. Doesn't really help anyone, does it? Uh, anyway, these stickers, uh, put them on, take your time putting them on, put them on the inside of the body, the inside, not the outside. Press them very firmly around on the edges. You good way of checking this, I'll show you in just a second. So I've put all of those stickers on there. Let's check. Look around the outside. Any areas where this looks like it might be a little bit light. You want to go back inside and press over one and notice it immediately this area on the back needs me to put a little bit more finger pressure on to make sure that's precisely stuck on the reason being when you spray the inside of the body you're not spraying the outside it's got a protective film that you will peel off and the body will look gorgeous shiny and spanking new paint job on there you spray it from the inside this means if you bump into anything you don't get any scratches nicks on the outside of the body the reason why you mask the windows off because obviously if you're spraying from the inside you want nice clear windows when you're finished or you can remove these over spray from the inside you might want to spray black uh, on there for a black tail look uh, on the windows on here so but whatever you do you need this film on the inside so you want to make sure it's pressed on nice and tightly so none of the paint we spray on blade bleeds through on the inside okay moving on to the paint I'm not using anything super fancy like an airbrush uh, as I said this is just my way of doing it not necessarily the best way works for me will give a good finish I know that from experience um, this is the Tamiya paint always buy the PS range from Tamiya don't buy anything else in the range even you might be tempted by the other color ask if your model shop can get in the PS uh, in that particular color because this is designed for this type of flexible body this paint flexes with the body so if it takes a big bang it doesn't crack or anything like that so that's the ps paint that's the one you want to get doesn't matter about the number just the ps in front of whatever color you are going to get on there so we're going to shake the cans up for a good minute or so essential that you shake them uh, good and hard and get them cut nice and shake them while you're going along as well lastly before i start spraying um, you want to do this in a reasonably well vaulting area. A big garage is good, a small garage or a shed, less so. Um, while you want a bit of breeze, you don't want too much wind. There's no point in putting a fan next to it or anything like this because you'll just get the paint blowing everywhere and over spraying other things that are around uh, on the side, which you don't really want. You want the paint on the car, not on uh, the rest of your garage or things that are nearby. Well, before I start painting this RC car body, one thing on your favour is time. Don't ever rush painting an RC car body. It is the worst thing you can do. If you can only do a couple of coats in the time you've got, just do a couple of coats. Don't try and do six if you haven't got time. Now the sharper of you may have noticed that there is a large back panel on the uh, window for the rear wind, uh, the beetle for the rear window here, uh, which is exposed from the inside. So it's gonna get covered in paint. So not the same as the body, which you might not want. So you might wanna blank that off. Most of the point, you might wanna do these as I wanna do in alternate colors. I want to do both these panels white uh, as opposed to blue. So I want to mask these off. So it doesn't come with anything uh, on there. So I've got some tummy masking sheets. Uh, so I'm just gonna unpack those and I'll show you how to mask the your front off. Now you are gonna need to stick this masking sheet on the inside of this body. You're spraying this body from the inside. So you want this stuck on the inside. However, for uh, masking purposes, in terms of drawing a template and cutting that out to mask it from the inside, I'm gonna get my pencil here and mark that over from the outside just in order to cut the template. Okay, for the purposes of doing this, I found out you need the white side of the Tamiya masking sheet facing upwards. You're gonna trace out using the pencil and you the can feel or even see the cracks in there and the bodywork. Hopefully, uh, you're gonna trace those out using uh, a pencil as much as anything you're using the pencil 
to virtually almost score the marking and uh, the, the, the masking tape on there. You're going to stick it from the underside, but you need to mark it from the upper side. Well, tracing around with the pencil, you're going to have something that looks like that. You're going to, it's not going to be exact, you're going to have to smooth it out, etc. Uh, in terms of cutting it out with the scissors. You're then going to take those two panels, as I'm doing just a second, sit them to the inside to mask off the bonnet. Okay, well, your masking tape, yeah, uh, pen. Well, masking tape, for one better word for it, is going to look something like this. You're simply going to trim it along the line you've left with the scissors. It's not going to be exact, as I say, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, more precise ways of doing it that people will uh, hopefully improve, give us tips on, on this uh, video. Uh, but this is the way uh, that I do it. So I'm going to trim that out. That is going to fit over the back panel of the car from the inside. When I peel this off, this is going to be the bit that sticks on the inside, mask the inside. Well, this is not the exact science, and as even during my pencil marking around there, uh, got it slightly out of sight too long on this bottom edge. This is not a showpiece body by any means. Uh, so I've just folded the tape back on here uh, prior to uh, spraying the, outside, uh, the inside of the body here. So this should mask that rear window uh, completely. Just making sure it's nice and tight around the edges. Well, this isn't gonna be a showpiece body. Uh, it is primarily sort of form and function on this thing, just showing you how to mask these things out. Under normal circumstances, I'll take this off, uh, make it a little bit wider on that side, etc. on there. For me, for this body, this is absolutely fine. Uh, I'm gonna spray the whole thing blue, just these two panels white. So I'm not too worried about that, the overall look on the outside of the thing. Uh, more worried is everything nice and tight uh, on there. More to the point is this clear panel on the back fine. Yeah, so I've shaken these cans up for uh, about a minute or so. I will continue to keep shaking during the spraying. What I am going to suggest is uh, just move your hand all the way through, spraying the body. Don't stop at all on the end, just you see, just building up the layers of paint on there. That's, as I said, I'm sure there will be people that will tell me there are far better ways to spray a body on here. Uh, this is how I do it. This is what works for me. Uh, if you've got a better way of doing it, please record your own video. Uh, don't just castigate uh, this one. Now, the great thing being, keeping on the plastic here, you can just, as I say, just building up nice thin coats of paint on the thing do not be afraid to spin the body around don't try whatever you do and overcoat the thing in one particular area at any one point in time that is the worst possible thing you can do we'll just make the paint too thick and leave it to run so uh, i'm going to carry on spraying this and uh, come back to you when it's finished I've just put a few coats on here, but just to show you some idea of the uh, protection there, the film is giving stuck on from the inside. As I said, I knew there was going to be this shortfall that was too short on the inside of the body. Not a problem, that's going to be painted white over there. As I said, this is not a showpiece body. This is uh, for my uh, Axial Yeti, which is going to put up with uh, quite a bit of abuse, which is why I'm fitting a new body to it. Um, overall, yeah, see, look on there. You can see from the outside uh, where the paint is going to need extra spraying. So. Well, I've got a little bit of bleed on the uh, the back here, around the back window. As I said, it's not going to be a showpiece body, more uh, form and uh, function on there. Side windows, front window is pretty good. Uh, on the uh, the front, on the left hand side here, uh, I've got a little bit of um, uh, sort of, I want to say bleed, but where I've left it a little bit short in terms of the uh, cutout. Uh, more time spent on that could alleviate that problem. Uh, that is more unusual to do the two white panels on the uh, front of the beetle. Well, uh, the thing to do is let the paint completely dry your first coat, then peel away very carefully your stuck on sheets. That should reveal something like that clear panel beneath it. Okay, got a bit of bleed through at the edge. As I say, this shell is not perfect. This is basic techniques of how to paint your RC body shell. Just peeling those first panels off on there. You may want to do this while the paint is still slightly wet. There is a lot to be said for doing this. And if that doesn't give a hard, uh, you know, you don't risk breaking away a piece of the paint on the shell. By doing it when it's slightly wet, pull it away. 
this technique may well not be for everyone. I'm sure people out there who've painted far more bodies than me will have far better ways than doing it. I'd love to hear from you. And the more tips, the better on this. Uh, don't claim to be an expert on it at all. Um, this is just my way of uh, doing it. Now I'll peel those front two sheets off. I'm uh, shaking my paint up there. Apologies for the camera shake. Just gonna do short sharp sprays. Just getting light coats of white under the front there, just to give that bonnet that uh, two-tone white effect. You may be wondering how I began to peel the paint away from it. I just used the scissors very lightly, just a nick of it, just anything just to score, drag back, uh, and get any kind of bite under the uh, the paint skin, uh, the, under the sorry, under the tape there to pull the paint away. As I say, best to do this one is not totally uh, set. I found. Um, gives a far better finish, no um, hard breakaway kind of as though when it's fully dried. See, I'm just about to take away the uh, the tape on the window. The, the key thing to do is to do your lighter colour last so as to make sure you don't get any bleeding through the uh, darker colour underneath. As you can see there, none of the white is bleeding around through the edges on the side there. Well, so there is the finished product. It has still got the uh, protective film, as per the sticker, uh, on the top of this body, uh, which will remove many imperfections. I thought that was actually blue paint uh, that had got on the white there. It's not. That's coming off. That's great. That's on the film. So this should be picture perfect uh, when it's done. The only annoying bit, I've got a blue fingerprint on the inside, so uh, that's going to require a little bit of work to come off. Overall, this should polish up quite nicely. As I say, when I pull the film off, it should be absolutely uh, perfect or picture perfect. Uh, there may be many better ways to paint a body. This is how I do it. This is a basic setup uh, as to how to paint your RC body. So I hope you found this useful. And as ever, always paint from the inside. Uh, do the, uh, the darker colors first, lighter colors last, depending on which uh, your two-tone is. If you're doing this white, then do this white first, the blue for the bonnet uh, afterwards. Okay. Thanks for watching and as ever, please subscribe for more great RC car videos like this. Thanks for watching. Well, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. And if you want to buy your RC gear, where I buy mine, buy from FM Hobbies in New Jersey. Many thanks for watching.